Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video I want to tell you about how uh, you can use fuel injector cleaners like any kind of fuel injector cleaner to uh, combat carbon buildup inside a direct injection engine or pretty much any engine for that matter. So let's get into it. The first point that I want to get across the table is that I have had excellent results with CRC intake valve cleaner, which is a dedicated gasoline direct injection uh, carbon buildup cleaner for the intake valves and the intake runners of, of engines. But um, I bought a bunch of these when I found them and I ran out. And ever since I have been trying to find new uh, suppliers, but I just can't get my hands on, on intake valve cleaner from CRC anymore. So that got me thinking, what is the active ingredient inside of this can that is a silver bullet against uh, carbon buildup and carbon deposits on the intakes of the engines? So I started making some research. So the first thing I did was to go to the CRC website and I went to the CRC intake valve cleaner uh, page and I downloaded the safety data sheet for the product. As you can see, the safety data sheet has a, a lot of uh, information regarding the chemicals in, that are inside of the product. But the important part is the composition information and ingredients. I started looking into this and as you can see, there are a lot of chemicals here. And here are their CAS numbers and their percentages that are inside of the can. If you can see here, the CAS numbers, this and this says proprietary. So this is 10 to 20% of the content of the can. So my educated guess says that this is the active ingredient. So this is the secret ingredient that makes this product work so well. But here in the chemical name, you can see polyethyramine. So that got me thinking, what is polyethyramine? I mean, I don't have the CAS number, but I can Google. So when I Google what is polyethyramine, the first result that Google gets me is Tecron. Chevron Tecron. Boy, that was easy. Chevron Tecron is also using polyethyramines as detergents, and it's almost half of what you are getting in a bottle. But that doesn't solve the question, what exactly is polyethyramine? Furthermore, I get to the gum out page and they say they use polyethyramines on their product and they say it's a nitrogen-based detergent that is the most potent solvent available for cleaning carbon deposits in fuel systems. There it is, that's the silver bullet. So I go download the safety data sheet on the Chevron Tecron and I get, what, polyethyramine 25 to 50% of the weight and the CAS number is still a trade secret just like in the CRC. Then I find this at AutoZone, this STP Direct Injection Fuel Injector Cleaner. And when I see on the back, what does it say here? So there you go, STP Direct Injection Cleaner also has polyethyramines. So me, that I work at a Polaris dealership, I have access to this, that is, it's a fuel injector cleaner called Carbon Clean, which is specifically manufactured by Polaris. And what do I do? I go to the Polaris page and I print the safety data sheet. I don't find any polyethyramines, but I have this, which I cannot pronounce, and it says it has from 20 to 25% of the weight. So I Google this and it's also a very powerful detergent to combat carbon buildup and carbon deposits. In a nutshell, pretty much every fuel injector cleaner has some sort of detergent. Um, that you can use to combat carbon buildup. All of these fuel injector cleaners are designed to go uh, mixed with the gasoline inside of the tank. But again, most cars have the uh, injectors or the carburetors spraying fuel directly to the intake valves and the intake runners, which is something that we cannot do in a direct injection engine. So I got the idea, why not use the fuel injector cleaner additives directly into the intake of the engine? Like if you are using seafoam that you pour it inside of the butterfly of the engine. I mean, I have been doing that before with the CRC. I just pour the CRC into the intake. I mean, if I'm gonna pour a liquid into the engine, I don't see what's different about pouring CRC intake valve cleaner or Tecron or any other additive. I mean, you just pour it inside of the engine. So that's what I have been doing for the last year or so. I just buy fuel injector cleaner and I just pour it directly into the intake of the engine. 
that was my research on how to use any fuel injector cleaner to um, dissolve uh, carbon deposits inside of the intake of your engine. Now I will be uh, uploading a video to explain the process that you have to follow in order to, to use the, the additives directly into the intake. But it's really simple, it's the same uh, principle as if someone uses sea foam. You just have to be careful on the amount that you pour inside of the engine. But no problem, I'll leave a link on that video right here and you can go see it right now. If you found this video to be interesting and helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. If you like what you see in this channel, please subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. I will see you next time.